I, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft is rolling out extra tools now and more tools to the sidebar and the side panel in the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop. Now, in case you hadn't noticed, um, if we just head to the sidebar and we click on tools in the sidebar, over and above now the calculator, the unit converter, translator, dictionary, and world clock, which were all previously available, as many of you would know. Now we get other tools, which is a new feature that Microsoft has started to roll out to the desktop version of Edge recently. And if we click on that, uh, we get so-called six new tools. Now, the difference between these new tools and the so-called older tools is that the previous tools were actually and are actually apps that are bundled into the actual Edge browser, as you can see, where these uh, new tools are actually just shortcuts pointing to the online version of the said tool. So as you can see, the timer just takes you to a timer online. Uh, the stopwatch does exactly the same. So you've got a stopwatch and then a random number generator. So you get the idea. So basically just shortcuts to online versions of the said tool, a number converter, QR code, and a typing test. So six new tools now available uh, in the sidebar and side panel in Microsoft Edge. Now you can also see um, that every time you do click on the shortcut, it actually opens up the online version in a new tab. So every time you click on one of those, a new tab is opened. And at this stage, um, this seems to be rolling out using a server-side update because it's not, I haven't noticed that it's been uh, included in any recent update. These tools haven't been included in any recent update to the actual Edge browser. So it is on a server-side um, update and rollout and I'm noticing that it's on both my devices on all my Edge browsers. That includes the stable version of Edge and also the preview canary versions of Edge. So it seems now that Microsoft is pushing this out to the Edge web browser now as a whole. And if this is going to be, and these tools are going to be of any use is anyone's guess, but nonetheless, uh, just letting you know about um, these six new tools. And um, if you want to turn off other tools, and um, we just head up to the little slider toggles, open settings at the top and yeah, you can see you can turn off other tools or any other of the previous tools if you'd like to um, remove those and disable those and you can see it's been removed and if you want to place that back you just click on other tools head back and then you've got those six new tools which as mentioned seem to be shortcuts pointing towards the online version of the said tool so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one